Gary York, CorruptionBehindBars.com. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I talk about corrections topics and military topics. And today I wanted to talk about a uh, video that I just saw. And I'm only going to talk about one portion of it because there's a video that's out now, and a lot of you have seen it already, about the August 21st, 2018 uh, prison strike. A lot of inmates are trying to have a strike um, on August 21st for a week to try to shut down the prisons, believing that um, if they have a strike for a week, that the prisons will cave, the prison administration will cave in because without the inmates, you know, mowing the yard and cleaning and cooking and running the operations of the prison, that the prison will finally, prison administration will finally have to give in and give them what they want. All right, so there's a lot of things that they want. Now, everybody that knows me knows that I was a uh, correctional officer and a probation officer, but I was for most of my career a prison inspector doing investigations in the prison. People that know me and watch my channel know that I'm against corruption. I'm against abuse of inmates, but I'm also for the officers as well because there are things that have to be done in the prison no matter what, and they have to be done and orders have to be carried out. So I walk down the middle. Some of my videos uh, make some people angry, but I just tell it the way I see it, okay? So I'm going to tell it the way I see it on this. The in, One of the inmates on the video was talking about they make me wash the dishes they make me clean floors they make me uh, clean the gum off the floors they make me mop uh, they make us uh, mow and uh, for some of the things we do they only pay us 20 cents an hour well now I do have a problem with those statements because here at my home we clean our floors we mop, we vacuum, we clean, we mow our yard, we cook food, and we have to wash our dishes. I mean, that's a part of life. And you're complaining that it is prison slavery to make you do those things? Come on. You've got to be kidding. I guess when you lived in the free world, you didn't clean your house, you didn't mow your yard, everything was filthy, dirty. And you just lived in the pigsty and laid on the couch and watched TV and didn't do anything. You know, I, I don't understand the philosophy sometimes. You know, this is a case where inmates are complaining of having to clean their area in prison slavery. Listen, I know a lot of inmates that I've talked to, and I've interviewed thousands of inmates. A lot of inmates tell me that they would rather be busy doing something. A lot of inmates have told me I want to clean my area. I want my dorm to be clean. I don't want that lazy bum over there complaining about not getting up and cleaning. We want a clean dorm. We want to live clean. So see, don't let the perception of a few inmates complaining speak for all the inmates. Because guess what? If you're in prison, the officers are going to make you clean. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry if you work in food service where you get extra meals. They left that out. If you work in food service in jails and prisons, you're eating extra food, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. You're serving the other inmates and cleaning up after them. So, yeah, get an extra plate. Get some, get some extra food. But don't complain that you have to wash the dishes because you signed up to work in food service and asked to be there. See, there's a lot of things you're not saying in these videos. So you're making the general public think that you're a slave in prison and being forced with a whip to do these things. You're not being forced to do that. Inmates put in for jobs, okay, with classification. Inmates many times request jobs. Let's take the firefighters in California and talk about them for a minute. There's 3,800 inmates working to help save communities and put out fires. And that's a good thing. They're getting $2 a day, and they're also getting two days gain time for every day worked. 
They deserve that. They probably deserve more. Because they're not trained firefighters and they're out there working in a dangerous environment. I don't have any problem with getting more game time for these inmates. Now, these 3,000-something inmates that are working on the fires uh, are classified certain ways. You know, your your murderers are not going to be out there, hopefully. Uh, they shouldn't be. And they're going to be classified to be generally a safer inmate. So why not give them a little more game time? It's fine. I mean, I don't have any problem with that. You're saving people's lives out there putting out fires. And... Um, it's a dangerous situation, so, you know, two days uh, game time for every day worked. I mean, that's fair in some people's eyes. I wouldn't have a problem if they gave more. But the point I want to get at is the inmates have said, I am doing something for the community, and I'm getting outside of the prison for a while, and I don't mind it. Many inmates have said that that are on these uh, squads in California. But if one of them complains this is prison slavery, then you've got a lot of people that don't know what goes on in prison jumping on the bandwagon. Oh, my God, they're using these poor guys for prison slavery. Folks, a lot of these inmates enjoy getting out and doing this. It gives them a good feeling inside for helping the community. They go back with a little pride. They're getting some gain time, even though they could probably should probably get more gain time. And they're making a couple of bucks for their canteen, which maybe some don't have family to send them money for their canteen items, okay? Uh, listen, when I was in the Army, I didn't like sleeping in a little pup tent freezing to death in the snow. And other soldiers didn't like being shot at and bombs dropping on them, okay? But they did it because they were trying to protect their country and serve for their country, so... Let's get off this prison slavery, okay? Um, I am for fair, firm, and consistent. I am for care, custody, and control. And I am for, I am against corruption in prisons big time. But let's don't carry this too far, okay? A lot of the inmates are glad to get out and work. So... When you see some of these guys saying they're using me as prison slavery, making me clean up, just think of it this way. That's their city they live in. Unfortunately, they've been convicted or pled, and the majority have pled guilty now. Remember that. You know, a lot of people say they put them in that jail. Well, they pled guilty. They could have taken it to trial if they wanted to. And I know there's an argument that the system is against them. Well, you know, there's a lot of us have been free for 59 years of our lives and the system's never come after us because we don't go out and hang out with bad people. We don't do the wrong things. A lot of people are victims, I'll give you that, of hanging out with the wrong group and being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I know that. But, but get away from that environment. Another thing <clears throat> the inmates are asking for, and I'll do another video later for some of the things they're asking for that that I wish it was happening, but we're not going to give it to you because you go on strike. We need to do this through another means. But Pell Grants, uh, they're asking in the video for Pell Grants. Well, the 2018-2019 Pell Grants that I've looked at say that if you're in a jail or a state prison, you cannot get a Pell Grant. You have to be free, and the inmates in this video are saying, we need Pell Grants so we can go to college. Well, come on now. <clears throat> Let's do one thing at a time. Drug offenders don't qualify for a lot of Pell Grants unless they finish a drug program and successfully complete uh, a number of weeks or months uh, clean uh, urine tests. So we want you to get on the right track. We want you to come out of prison and not come back. Yes, believe that or not, we don't want you to come back. We want you to become productive citizens. But before you start asking for free money for college, you need to get your problem solved. You need to go to a drug class. You need to complete a drug program. You need to have clean urine. You've got to show us something 
that you're trying before asking for college. My God, you're going from uh, a crime into prison, now you want free college. Well, there's a lot of things you need to do to better yourself before we're going to give you free college. I had to join the Army <clears throat> to pay for my college, for my bachelor's degree, because we didn't grow up poor, but we weren't rich. My parents didn't have the money to send me and my brother to college. They put a roof over a house, and they fed us, and we worked on the farm, and we made it. But they couldn't even buy me a car. I had to go buy a car after I got in the Army. I had to do something myself to get a car in college. Okay? So <clears throat> you want to just walk in the door of prison and say, Hey, I'm an inmate now. Um, I know I didn't do anything when I was on the street, but watch TV and I never cleaned anything, you know. I just ate off my family and friends. But <clears throat> I need free college now. I got the time now. You know, I'm in here 24 hours a day. Give me some free college. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I do back a lot of things when it comes to corruption in prisons. I, I do back a lot of issues that come up when uh, inmates' families have issues. But I can't back up uh, prison slavery. And I can't back up... Um, I want free college, you know, these things have to be earned. They have to be well deserved. My God, I guess if I wanted, if they gave free college in prison back in the day, maybe I wouldn't have joined the army. Maybe I'd have just went in prison and sat in there and studied all day. But anyway, <clears throat> there's another video to offend some people out there. But don't worry, in a week or two, there'll be a topic come up. And then I'll talk about, and it'll be something you like, and, uh, and then I'll be back in your good graces. Again, corruption behind bars does not sugarcoat anything. And if I offend people, I offend people. I'm sorry. But I walk down the middle. As a prison inspector, I had to be do uh, fair and unbiased investigations. If the officer was dirty, then we got them, and we got them out of there. If the inmate was lying and making false allegations, we gave them disciplinary uh, report and confinement and shipped them to another prison. You know, so you have to walk down the middle. Uh, and with me, that's all you're going to get. And that's why I wanted to talk about this uh, prison slavery that they're calling it in the video. Please. We're not here to make inmates prisoners. We're here to make them learn how to clean their environment, live in a clean environment, do some work, and earn things, okay? Thank you. I'm Corruption Behind Bars. I'm off my high horse now. Please subscribe if you like this video. Thank you.